Hi, my name is David Dolan Thomas, and today we are going to talk about a tool that can make it really easy to line up your goals, your tactics, the thing you're trying to do to achieve those goals, and then the metrics you're using, right, to actually measure success, make sure those things all line up nicely. We've been talking in the past few weeks about how important it is to make sure those things are aligned. Well, here's a, a tool to help with that. It's called an objective matrix, and basically the way it works is it's just a spreadsheet, right? It's nothing fancy. You have uh, your first column is goals, right? What are you trying to achieve? And what you're seeing here is like a sample objective matrix for, let's say, a marketing website. So the goal might be to increase revenue, right? That's a sensible goal for a marketing website. Uh, next to that, you write objectives, right? And these are the ways you're going to achieve that goal, right? So drive sales leads, right? That's one way to increase revenue or increase the efficiency of the sales process. That may be another way to increase revenue. So next to that, you have strategies, right? And this is answering the question, okay, how are we going to drive sales leads, right? What are some ideas? Well, comp create compelling content might be one of those ways, right? Or make it easier to get in touch, right? Those are two different ways to drive sales leads. Those are your strategies. Now, next to the strategies, you have a column for tactics. Now, these are the concrete measurable things you're going to do to achieve that strategy, right? So create compelling content. What do we actually mean by that? Well, we could create case studies. We could uh, create a newsletter, right? We could do a, a podcast, right? These are concrete steps you can take to um, uh, enable that strategy of creating compelling content, which remember is there to drive sales leads, right? Um, the next uh, uh, column over is the success metric, right? How are you gonna tell whether or not that tactic is actually working, right? So for, uh, you know, improve the visibility of the um, CTA, the call to action, right? That's one tactic for making it easier to get in touch. Well, how are we going to know if that's working? Well, the success metric listed for that one is a number of leads, right? Now, what's nice about that metric is that it matches nicely with drive sales leads, which is the actual objective. And that's something, that's a good sign of a metric. If you can look further up the chain in the objective matrix and see, right, uh, similar language, right? That that probably means that your metric is actually measuring what you're trying to achieve, right? I want to drive sales leads. Okay. Is improving the visibility of the CTA working? Okay. Well, let's see how the leads are doing, right? That's a, a nice tight circle for uh, measuring this tactic. Now I hidden here a really bad metric, right? I want you to take a look. I don't know if I'll clear this is on your screen, but take a look at one of the, at these, at these metrics and tell me if you can see one that's actually a terrible metric. Okay, if you look at the metric for create case studies, it's number of case studies. Now, that's actually a horrible metric. Why? Because the number of case studies doesn't tell me anything about the objective I'm trying to achieve, which is drive sales leads, right? All the number of case studies is telling me is how many case studies you made, right? I mean, I could do 10 case studies and not get any leads, right? That's not really a success. Or I can make one case study that gets me 10 leads, right? The number of case studies isn't actually the important information, but it feels like a sensible thing to count. And it, it's an easy thing to count, right? It, it sort of makes intuitive sense, but it isn't actually getting me what I want. Uh, so it's not necessarily a useful metric. So these are things to keep in mind uh, when you're using a tool like this. And again, the goal here is to make sure that what we're trying to achieve is what we're actually measuring and vice versa. Um, also, a nice thing about this tool is it helps you kind of keep scope, right? Because, you know, if you're like me, you've maybe had bosses who were like, hey, I just went to a weekend uh, seminar about eBooks. We should start doing eBooks. This gives you the tool to say, hey, let's look at the big board here. Tell me where eBooks fits into this whole strategy. Uh, you know, is it a tactic, whatever, and what does it ladder up to? And even if it does, you could say, that's great. Um, tell me which of these tactics you want to pull out and replace because we can't do both, right? Uh, it gives everyone kind of one big board to look at and agree on what are we trying to achieve? How are we trying to achieve it? How are we measuring it? So hope you find this helpful. Please uh, feel free to use this tool. Uh, my name is David Dillon Thomas. I give talks and workshops about this sort of thing all the time. You can reach out to me at Uh Feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.